Hello, welcome to another Pauper League. Uh, this week I'm going to be taking the deck that everyone was talking about last week, and I decided not to do it, but now I'm going to do it anyway, uh, which was Golgari Dredge. So this came top four of a challenge by Medvedev. Uh, they took the idea from Tivany, who does some online, uh, the free online Pauper tournaments, and they literally like took... 90% of their list. I think they had an Earth Rift in the graveyard. Otherwise, like, the, the main board hasn't changed. So, what does this deck do? Well, the deck... Uh, so, <laughs> the deck just decides to uh, mill a pile of cards with all its two drops. Uh, they're just there to... The way... Uh, to block the way to be able to... Uh, dump a pile Because we're running 32 creatures, right? So the goal is to just dump a pile of creatures while keep hitting your land drops. Uh, you can hit a Nord of the Bone to be able to keep living. But the main goal is to Dread Return. So you sacrifice some of these dorky creatures to be able to bring back a lot with Giant and do a lot of damage in one go. So uh, we're running 16 lands, which is a little low, but we're running four of uh, each of Troll and Generous Ent. This allows us to get the red... Uh, lands for the sideboard and for Scrap Rope Mart. Uh, it also is just creatures in our graveyard. It's full of the Lola's Giant and Nord of the Bone. So we have My Triton. So in our two drop slots, we have My Triton. Uh, just because Death Touch is good against the Terra decks. It also gains you two life. So this one mills you two cards. Um, this one uh, mills three. Three, you bring back a land. This one mills four, you bring back a land. Uh, this one, you discard a card, which will probably be a Lilith Giant or a uh, Acorn Harvest. Uh, so this square root mark's pretty good because you can, like, unearth it when you've got a couple of other things, attack, and then, uh, like, sacrifice it to the Dread Return flashback, which is pretty cool. Stinkweed Imp. So we just want to mill it so we can dredge it to put more cards in our graveyard. Which, like, which Acorn Harvest, uh, it's got flashbacks. So it's got the same cost as Deep Analysis flashback, right? Two mana and three life. Uh, it creates two squirrels. So you can, like, if you just keep milling, you can, like, unearth a scrap work mart and, acorn, like, cast an Acorn Harvest, which lets you flashback a dread return to bring back a lot less giant to do probably, like, eight or so damage and have a six five. Sometimes you can just, like, Dread Return back a Troll or a Generous End if you need to, like, gain some life. It seems pretty flexible, and it seems pretty decent. I did play against it once in a league, and I did beat it. Uh, deck does have some issues with Graveyard Hate. Yeah, and Quick Starts are its other issue. So uh, everything in the Graveyard has flashback costs, so you can just, like, dredge and not worry about having to do it. So we've got Ancient Grudge for Artifact decks, mainly Glitters, uh, Flaring Pain for Core Gate and Turbo Fog, Moments Peace for probably Glitters as well, uh, and just other aggressive decks, and Rotten Reunion for anything graveyard-based. So this deck, um, Terra, I guess, stuff like that. Oh, uh, Ephemerate Loopy decks that will kill you. So... That's the deck. Uh, we'll see how we do. I'm. I don't know how. I've. I've been playing. I played like a league yesterday with Poison Storm, <laughs> uh, just to see if it was worth making a video on. Um, I did all right. I think I went three two. Uh, there's been a lot of glitters out there, so we'll see if this works well against glitters. All right, round one versus Alfonso. Triple six, triple six. Uh, they're usually on fams, but I've seen them on gardens. They were on gardens yesterday when I played, so I'm going to keep this. I think I'm going to just get an untapped um, forest so I can start milling. Mm, not playing. Usually, I only see that in blue black deck. I mean, blue red or yeah, blue red or blue black. Might be on something. I wonder what they're on. Blue, red. Okay. Alright. Really, 
need to hit a land wayfinder, please. Okay, maybe not as much anymore. We'll still pick the one that mills the most. It's an interesting order. Wouldn't you usually brainstorm then shuffle? Cool. Nothing great in the graveyard though. I think I just prowler. Tap land, and then I can mutton my Triton. Troll. Attack for one. Play Prowler. Didn't hit a land. He had a couple of Acorn Harvest and a Dread Return, so that's pretty cool. Um, I will just play a Haunted Mire and pass. Monarchy. Well, this deck has little to no removal, so... Oh, Terra, okay. Fair. Alright, well, let's find a way. Still no... Um, big boy. There's another Dread Return. So I think I am going to go Acorn Harvest, and I'm gonna Dread Return back and end while they're tapped out. Because they can't scred it. They shouldn't be able to do anything to it for a little bit. It'll help me stop this terror. Okay. Alright, well, they tapped out again. There's another acorn harvest. Well, let's Maya Triton. There we go. Okay, so now I can... Acorn Harvest. Into Dread Return on the Giant. I'll keep the Maya Triton. Uh, and then I'll just pass. And I might just, like... I'll probably cycle the troll. And then just... Cast and flashback acorn harvest. Get a pile of 1-1s one and try and go sideways. So let's attack with everything. To 
kill the my Triton. Yep. Take six. Get the monarchy back. Uh, let's... Can't be blocked by creatures that monarch controls. So there, I cannot block. Should have cycled the troll. So now... I just flash back acorn harvest. And play the land, so let's still swamp cycle this. I'll get the red. And I'll play this. Just got a note of the bone. And they did nothing. Well, they're gonna need a land plus a scred to stop the lot left giant. Well, there's the land. Yep, take back the monarchy. See, this deck seems okay against Terra. The fact that they got stuck on four lands didn't really help. Okay, so now we attack. Watch the little Earth Giant die. Yep. And they've got a counter spell up, so I can dread return back the giant, they'll counter it, and I just flash it back by sacking all my creatures. Easy. Okay. What if they run sideboard hate? Usually. I don't think Terra does. Do I care about Rotten Reunion? I don't think so. Nah. It's, it's, it doesn't clean the graveyard up. Like, it's good at pl picking away things that matter in the graveyard. So, like, it'd be good against this deck because you just, like, target the Lotless Giant when they Dread and Dread return it. Okay. Yeah, we can keep this. A little bit slow. Stinky. Stinky, not good. Alright, we'll just cycle this now. Get me a Haunted Mire. I tapped Red Source. Alright, well, let's just cycle this again. I don't think I need the red. Just get another green for now. Okay, so we'll just play Prowler. Can't get counted. Hits nothing. Yep, 
Yeah, so now we'll play the monarchy. In which I'll play Stinkweed Imp, because I want that in the graveyard anyway. Didn't play Monarchy. Alright, well, we'll play Stinky. What you got? Learn to build? Mermaid Mystic, okay. Alright, well, let's get another... Get another land. We'll get the red this time. So let's scrap work mark. Discard Stinky. Then we'll dredge Stinky. No dread return. Well, Triton. Okay, so no dread return. We've got a lot less giant though. So let's scrap work mark. Discard stinky. Tread it back. There's a tread return. Which will probably get counted. Shouldn't really matter. Hmm. I really just need to get to a point where I can resolve a dread return, right? I can't really do that. All right, well, let's just attack. Then we'll play another Stinkweed Imp. Didn't do anything. Breath weapon? Ooh, another memory mystic? They can't really tap out though, they need a counter spell up. Because I could pretty much just sacrifice the dread turn and they die. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Let's attack with these. Oh, we could attack with the scrapbook mutt too. So kill the my triton. Oh, I wouldn't bother. Kill Stinkweed him, okay. Means they can block the Maya Triton. So we Acorn Harvest. And I'll flash it back.
Yep. So I dredge back the stinkweed imp. The goal is just to get another dread return in the graveyard. Oh, but now they got double counter spell up again. Well, there's the double dread return. Okay, so now I just need to try and draw a land, I guess. I don't want to get blown out by uh, Breath Weapon by going too wide with Acorn Harvests. I think I'm just going to pass. I just need them to tap out. Terra, still with double counter spell up. I may as well just gnaw to the bone. Do it again. My Triton doesn't really help me. I'll just chip in the air with a stink we don't. I'll just keep doing that. They'll probably get, they'll get to a point where they can chain count it, like chain draw card spells. That's fine. So I still got double counter spell up. Just need to draw something that's relevant. That is not relevant. Two, three. That gets me an extra draw, which I'm probably fine just. Doing nothing. If they want to hit me back, that's fine. My fight is okay. Bit to bird. Alright, well, I'll block here. Alright, I probably could have, like, 
tried to force the counter spell. <laughs> Alright, well, I really need to hit a land. Okay, cool. Uh, I don't think it matters if it's untapped or not. So just get the jewel land. Play it. Attack with some stinkies. Sure. And then they block. Gotta keep the monarchy alive. And then I can try and cast three Lotless Giants next turn. Six mana? What is this? I think it meant to be five. It's a lower end revealed. All right, so now I should be fine because I can't have triple counter spell. And if they've got spell pierce, it shouldn't matter either. Right, no, don't want to dredge that back. So now we just red return back Lolith Giant, sacrificing these three. I'll get counter spelled. Right, then we do it again. And then we cut Lolith Giant. Yep. And then we just hard cast one. And they take 20. Bang. Sweet. All right. Uh, I feel like that's a favored matchup. So I'm pretty happy with how that went. Uh, yeah, Scred doesn't do too much when you're just trying to bring back a big boy to do damage. I think they don't run Graveyard Hates also a boon. So one up. Good start. Let's see if we can keep this going. All right, round two versus J-Waves, uh, the white weenie aficionado. Uh, we will keep, uh, we will pass. I'll probably cycle this troll, end of their turn. Oh, they're back on the white weenie. I'll get the red. Oh, I need more green. I don't need the red. No land. Rip. Okay, so that is white weenie. We've got Nord of the Bones for days, so it shouldn't matter too much. Do I dredge the Stinkweed Amp? Yeah, sure. The Lunark veteran is going to be a little annoying. Okay, so now I need to start hitting some lands. This does damage, doesn't it? it does dang.
So let's wayfinder. Need to hit a land. We got there. Hmm. Well, this is fine. I'm gonna have to get through like three little giants to be able to kill them. Uh, I don't need to block. Do I gnaw to the bone? Or do I just stink weed imp? Two, three, four, five. I sort of want another land. Just gain 18 life, which I think is good enough. I'll just I'll just gnaw to the bone on their turn. Yep. Let's just do it now. It's like an F6 for value. I'll just take it. It's all right. Actually, I'll make it double black. Uh, I wanted both of those. Do I attack? Yeah. Stink we don't I don't think I'm gonna die to a I might die actually, but to the anthem effect. Alright, let's draw in some cards. Gain some life. On Stinkweed Imp? Sure. That doesn't get me the red source I want. Because I milled it. <laughs> Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Just get a haunted Maya. Guess I start chipping in. Squatty walk away. That means both the cards in hand are squadron hawks. Gain twenty four. That's squadron hawk. Oh, 
All right, so seven. So I can acorn harvest. I'll attack with the two wayfinders again. So, I just gotta hope they don't hit the anth anthem, the plus two, plus two. Well, like, I'm, I'm definitely gonna cast this anyway. So it's 24. Could block with some squirrels. I choose not to. Let's include it. Well, am I going to be dead? I'm better off trying to like block with Stinkweed Imp, dredge some more. Yeah, we'll just we'll just play this now. Attack with the wayfinders. Crack the clue. A journey on the troll. Sure. Take it. So stink with it. Got a dread return, but I just don't think it's gonna get me there. If they don't want creatures in my graveyard, which is fair. Just pass. Crack the clue. Sure. I can only go on so many journeys. Yep. So I get hit for a bucket load. I got to keep the inspector up. I mean, I guess I cast the Nord of the Bone. I mean, that's pretty decent. So now they got a strands. Yep. I 
unfortunate. I just got to hope they don't have another strands. Which I mean, they probably do. And in that case, how do I get out of it? Yeah, well, we'll tack with this. We're going to have to block. Dang. <laughs> so they go up to 12. I guess I just pass. Oh, I gotta, I gotta try it right. If they've got it, they've got it. Yeah, which they should. So that's another strands. Just cast an acorn harvest and pass. It's fine. Sure. All right, so I just need to find another Dread Return or Lot Less Giant, and then I win, I believe. All right, well, as I'll cast it. Might hit a dread return. There we go. Okay, so does that... Get me there? I guess I can attack with the Lotless Giant first. So how many creatures have I got? 14. Sure. So it means they go up to 14. So that means we dread return back to the Lotless Giant, sacrificing these three. So they've got a strands. Yep. Uh, I will flashback acorn harvest. I'll pass. Bugle it will not get them a strands. Sky Fisher. Can return a journey to nowhere. Can return a Raffine's informant. Does also gain them two life. So 
So now I've got to dredge Stinky and hope I hit something. Or well, just hope I hit a pile of creatures, is what I'm trying to say. So dredge Stinky. 16 is enough. So we dread return back. Lotless Giant sacking these three. Do 16 to them. Woo! Got out of that one. Okay, so I'll bring in a couple of Flaring Pain. Take out a Maya Triton. Just take out two Maya Tritons. They don't really do much in this matchup. And we'll just go with that. I don't know if they run out of, like, uh, Graveyard Hate. They probably do. Uh, Troll, Wayfinder. This is fine. A little slow. Uh, I think we're just going to play this. Psycho Troll for just a basic Swamp. And then play the Wayfinder. So I got plenty of lands. Didn't hit a land. <laughs> As expected. Hit a Stinkweed Imp. That's pretty good. Little Screech in the bin. Driving Inspector. Oh, veteran. Yep, bring dredge back stinky. Nothing relevant. So let's just dredge again. Now we've got some relevant stuff. Keep the wave find back. Scrapbook must go on. That's fair. Uh, no blocks. We'll dredge back another Stinkweed Imp. It's 12 creatures. Uh, I may need to... So it's 24. Yeah, I think I need to... Uh, flashback the... Nor to the Bone. Have two Dread Returns? No. Don't even know a lot less giant in the graveyard. Oh, 
of the stink weed imp. Okay, this isn't looking too fantastic. So I think I've got to... Scrap work mart. Discard. Stinkweed imp. Dredge it back. Flaring pain. Flashback acorn harvest. I will dread return back this slot left giant. And hope they don't have an anthem. That's fine. I mean, not really, but I don't really have a choice. Yeah, now it's not in the graveyard. <laughs> So, how do I not die? I just flash back Nord of the Bone. It seems a little meh. Against me 24. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Not technically dead unless they have the anthem. I just dread return a Seder Wayfinder. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Tank for one. Anthem. Well, I had to hope they didn't have it. I just sort of got log jammed there. I'll keep flaring paint in hand is so useless. Uh, this is okay. We can keep this. The my Triton doesn't do much. But I've got like a dread return to bring back an Ent. I'll do this and I'll just cycle this. I'll get the red the red one. Do I want a stinkweed? I don't think I do, they'll just exile it. So let's just my Triton. Scrap mark's pretty good. It's fine. Uh, I am going to attack you with this my Triton. Play this ridge line. Pass. Spector. Lot with giant. Should have cycled this. Um It's not worth playing stinky, so let's let's just dredge stinky.
Hmm, nothing great. There's another Stink Weed Imp, I guess. Let's just play this. Cycle this. Attack with just that one. Google is fine. Attack with both? Sure. Alright, well, I'll attack with the Nitroiden. Dredge Max Synchroid Imp. It's a Nord of the Bone. Uh, let's just... A play a Stinkweed Imp. There's another one in the graveyard. Maybe I just... Like, Dread Return back a generous end. They're going to have to get a journey to nowhere out of the hand eventually. Uh, do I? One, two, three, four, five. Still need seven. Yeah, I think I'm better off just dredging it. I want to scrap work, but there we go. Now there's seven creatures in the graveyard. So let's just scrap work them out. There's no giant in there, is there? I'll just stinky, bring it back. And then play it. Probably just Dread Return back a troll. I don't need to. Just pass. It always feels bad when you're not, like, sacking the scrap work mart to bring back a Dread Return, but... Oh, mana. Sure. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Yeah, I sort of wanted to dread return to sack the Stinkweed Imp to dredge a bit more, but... I can't really attack in, which is nice. Just my Triton. It's another dread return. And a Stinkweed Imp. I just need a lot less giant in the graveyard. Uh, I think I keep up. What do you call it? Nord of the Bone. It gains me 18. So no now. 
Dread this back. Still nothing. This is a two dread returns. Has there been any is non exiled? So I think the goal is just to do a wayfinder. Sacking these. Hope to get an untapped land. And there's a lot with giant. Cool. So now. I can win. So I can just flash back an acorn harvest. Thirteen. No, I can't. Because I need to be able to sacrifice... Yeah, okay, that was a mistake on my part. I should have kept up. I should have kept up, um... Whatever you call it. Nord of the Bone. Because now I could die to an Anthem. Yep. Attack with everything. No, I'm attacking with everything. That's not going to kill me, all right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. No, okay, I'll take it. All right, so we dredge back Stinkweed. And now I can scrap work mart. Discard this lot less giant. Just draw a normal card. Uh, but now I've used my red, so I bolted up again. So now I just pass turn. Screech is fine. Gain some pole life. And now they don't have thing up anymore? What do they got like Beck and Apparition? <laughs> That'll really teach me who's boss. Ooh. Ooh, okay. That does make it harder for me. What are we getting rid of? Well, it's John, okay.
So I need another one. So let's dredge. Which there it is. So we dread return back this one. Do a pile of damage. And then we dread return another one. Lucky. Alright, we got it on that one. Uh two O against two decks without graveyard hate and can't really hit with Nord of the Bone, so it's a good sign. Uh let's see if we continue this for the rest of them. Alright, round three versus Jose Guillermo. Uh this is fine. We can keep this. Delva, okay. Alright, I guess we're gonna just land cycle something. Alright, well the clock is the clock has increased tenfold. I don't know how well this deck does against counter spells. So, mono blue. Uh, let's get a green red land. I feel like this wouldn't be too bad against, like, just Terra, but the Delver makes the clock way too much. See, I wasn't expecting them to have, like, 8 power on turn 3. Well, I mean, I was, but... <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying. Okay, so... We just pass... Got a block, probably. So, we'll play a Prowler. Get the land. Play a Scrap Work Mart. Discard the Lotless Troll. Lotless Giant. I'll try best thing we do. So I think we dims would be the best thing against them. Block with the scrap work mart, because it has things that can be done. Cryptic seven. Yeah, okay. Means I'm probably just dead. Right, we'll, we'll try my Triton. Probably should have tried Stinkweed him. Oh, no, that worked. Uh, into Stinkweed Huh. I can't believe both of them resolved. I wonder what removal they're running. Boomerang or Snap? Sure. Do 
Hooray! The Stinkweed and Pistone walled them. Dread Return. So what are they? So what? How many do I have? Eleven. Let's just try generous ant. It'll get counted, but okay. All right, this is this is going real well. Memory Mystic, sure. Sure. Another stinkweed imp. Can't really attack with a troll, so I'm probably better off just cycling it. Get another red source for the Sky Pokemon. We will play another Stinkweed Imp. I think I'm going to chip in with this one. And I'll just crack the food token during their turn. Birds are fine. Flashbacks deep analysis? Sweet, okay. Well, now they're in range where the Dread Return will kill them if it gets to resolve. Let's bring back a scrap work mount. Let's go to ten. It's a bit low. Okay, well, we'll make it so it's lethal. Keep up Spell Pierce. So we'll target this lot, let's giant. Sure. I don't think I just pass. Because so I don't want to get got by Spell Pierce. And if I sack too many creatures, I might just be dead. So I'll just pitch the... Pitch the land in my hand from the script work mutt. Larian, okay. Well, that's not great. Oh, huh, okay. So we just do it again.
does get them to one, because one will come out, right? Maybe. <laughs> so do I acorn harvest? It does put me rather low. But then I get three chances to sacrifice stuff. Yeah, okay, I think that's fair. So it gives me three dread returns. So we start with this one. On this one. Sec. These. Then there'll still be 13 creatures in the graveyard. Alright, Counterspell is fine. And then we Dread Return. And we're still playing around Spell Pierce. That's probably the best card we could have drawn. Sweet. Alright. Whew. Got through that one. So, like, Moments Peace could be okay. I think Nord of the Bone's just better. Run Reunion can get rid of the Deep Analysis. But I think I want them to lose life anyway because it gets them closer to this. So I think I'm just going to keep the deck as is. I just hope I draw a Stink Weed and begin. Uh, this is fine. We can keep this. Oh, turn one Dilver again. I mean, I beat it last time. And there's a Stinkweed Imp, so that's also good. So let's just play a forest. Then we'll just cycle this troll. We'll get the red source, just in case. Getting a turn two flip boy. Well, you'd think they would. They've got plenty of spells. Another Delver. Okay. Don't exactly want to draw that in this matchup. That's fine. Oh, the bone in the graveyard's good. I think I want the untapped land, just so I can hit that stinkweed imp next turn. And they've got a counter spell in hand. Play stinkweed imp. Can spell, sure. And then I'm probably just dead. Because I can't cast two spells. If they got a counter spell, I'm just dead. Oh, uh, well, no counter spell. Terra? You don't have enough. Alright, so we dread track this. Um. I can. I can, like, block, block. Go to two. I 
sure. Like I can dread return. A lot less giant now. But that doesn't really accomplish anything. So we'll just hope this can... So I know they've got a terror in hand. Yeah, okay. I was hoping it wouldn't happen. Just delve is too quick. So, still don't think I need to do anything. I don't think Moments Peace is helping me here. I need, like, Pyroblasts, but... Don't really have... I can't keep this. There's no land cycles. It's sort of hard to tell when you've got one land. It's just like, are any of these lands as well? Uh, another one lander. I can't. I can't risk it. All right, this one I can keep. It's got stinkies. It's got land cyclers, so. All right, I'll put my Triton because it does nothing. And I guess this Ent. And I hope I can draw a land off this. If I don't, at least I'll get closer to some lands. Over. Every time. Excellent, we've got to land. Dispel. Okay, well, makes Nord of the Bone not great. Alright, well, that also helps. So, Stinkweed Imp. Counterspell. Sure. I'll dredge it back and play it again next turn. Well, lived that turn, so probably get bounced. I'm blocking. I'm blocking every day of the week. Mystic, okay. That's fine. Um, do we judge about Stinky? I think so. Did hit a land. Still haven't hit a dread return. Uh, yeah, we'll bring back. We'll just keep dredging. As well, scrap work mount. Judge again. This double dread return. So Stinkweed Imp. And I'll just attack with this one. I didn't want to fall into a 
trap. I'm happy enough just to draw some normal cards now. I've got another scrap worker mod if I need to uh, dredge again. So I know they've got a dispel. So there's a terror. So Like if I sacrifice so if I dread return, if I sac uh seven ten. It's not really worth it, is it? It probably is if I... So let's scrap work, Mart. We'll discard you. We'll dredge it back. So put the three more creatures in the graveyard. Forest cycle. Get an untapped land. So now there's 13. So. Can Dread return. Back a lot less giant. Sacrificing. These three. I'll counter spell it. Which is fine. Because I can Stinkweed Imp, Dread Return, Lolith Giant. And that should give me exactly 17. Sweet. All right. Beat, beat the turn one Delvers. <laughs> Woo. All right. Deck is okay against Terra, even Mono Blue. I think I got a bit lucky there, especially game one. Yeah, I won 2-0, right? Man, it's, my brain is mush. Uh, anyway, 3-0. We're going good. Uh, let's see if we can keep this going. All right, took a bit of a break there. Uh, we're back. I'll keep this a little slow. I might just have to get a basic swamp with the troll. Mm, land destruction. That's not a good sign. Oh, okay, it's not land destruction. And I don't know what it is. Could still be land destruction. Alright, so we're definitely getting... We're definitely wayfindering here. Hoping to hit a land. Oh, they're on the they're on the exhume plan. Uh, I guess I take. I do need a second black for these dread returns in hand, but I don't have many red sources, so we'll take this. They're going to be, if they're running Exhume, they're going to be running Graveyard Hate. I guess running Dread Return. Hmm. Excellent. Probably should have taken the untapped land. <laughs> Another Acid Moss? Oh. Six mana, what could this be? 
Sure, that's fine. Uh, let's... Let's just Wayfinder again. Hit nothing. Uh-oh. Attack. I'll oh, chump. I've got an acorn harvest if I need to red return. That's fine. That's also fine. Troll is good. So let's swamp cycle. I'm just going to play the stinkweed imp. Got lucky. Threw two lands into one another. I'll keep this Wayfinder back to block or snack for a Dread Return flashback. That's fine. Well, they've run out of threats, which is nice. Oop, maybe not. Seven, and undo, undo, and six for another generous ant, maybe. Alter store's annoying, but fine. Don't hit a land destruction spell, please. Visionary's fine. I think I'm dredging the stick widow. I really just need to hit a lot less troll at this point. I just need to hit two trolls and then I win. I can take this. Yeah, it should be fine. Alright, dredge stinky. Nothing worth talking about. So I can gain 20 life. I can dredge another 10. Is that worth it? Probably, actually. Whoops. Oh, I did that so I clicked the wrong one. Yeah, okay. All right, well, we're still we're doing okay. If I've got two removal spells, I'm dead. If they blow up one of my black sources, it's not great. They attack, I'm blocking with this giant. And then just bring it back. Oh, save myself there. Okay, land destruction. I mean, moments peace. They could be running exhume, but I don't think so. If they do, they're siding it out anyway. So 
I'll just run it back and hope I can keep hitting land drops. Land, land, land. Alright, we can keep this. This isn't great in hand. Neither is this, to be honest, but we'll make do. That's pretty good. Alright, if they blow up this land, I'll search for a green-black with this. If they don't, I'll get a swamp with this, so I can play this my Triton next turn. Or either my Triton, I should say. Yep, yeah, okay, so we're getting a green-black. That's alright. Alright, so if they don't blow up my land, I play the My Triton. If they do, I just play another Tapped Horn and Maya. Throwing lands, which is good enough for me. They do nothing? Excellent. Okay. So let's play my Triton. Stinky. Okay. Definitely Mill and a Stinky. I've got like five more lands in hand. That's fine. Dredge away. Acorn Harvest is cool. Let's play this. Attack. Pass. I hit another Stinkweed Imp too. Dinosaur? Troll? That's fine. I can't really block that with the My Triton, can I? Uh, let's... Cycle Generous Ent. We will get. Oh, more later Horned Myers. Interesting. Okay. I guess I get this Wooded Ridge Line. Alright, so we dredge. Nothing worth talking about. What's my Triton? Swamp and Branchwood Prowler. Okay. Blow up my red source. I love my black sauce. I assume it's an acid moss. Okay, sure. Oh, yuck. Okay. It does leave me with not a hell of a lot. Uh, let's prowl. I've got to fill the graveyard back up again. Take Swamp. There's a Stinkweed Imp. And I'll get the red-black one, just because I don't need it. Untap land.
Yep. Acid moss? Yep. Still got double black. So I think I'll dredge the Stinkweed Imp. Acorn Harvest, a lot less giant. So... It's three creature cards. The giant's not really worth it. Maybe I'm bringing on, better off bringing a... Troll. And then I can... They don't have anything. I can try and... Like, just play an acorn harvest. Get a pile of blockers. Okay, that's not going to be... That's going to be hard to beat. And there's a cast down. So I'll, I'll scoop to that. Oh, the Nihil Spellbomb got me. Uh, we just run it back. We just gotta hope that they don't hit the Nihil spell bomb. I can try and play like a dorky creature game if I really need to. Like maybe I should be running some amount of cast downs. Dunno. This is fine. So I've got I've got like six lands, which is all I really want. I've got like dorky things to fill up the graveyard, a pile of lands. So if they blow up my lands early, I can still hit things, so that's all I really need against this kind of deck. Yeah, that's the annoying one. So now they can like acid moss land. Uh, we'll take take this hap land. Yep, that's fine. It means there's probably no land enchantment. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Alright, that's a lot of mana for... Okay. Pop it now? No, oh, okay. I can't dread return. Do I just acorn harvest? Just so I get some value? Yeah, why not? Since they cast like a troll, I can at least attempt to block it or something. Untap. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay, so let's... Well, we'll find a way. Land? Land? 
play that. We'll attack with the team. We've got to get him to pop the Nihil spell bomb at some point. I just got to hope they don't hit a big threat. That's a good sign. Scrap work mark's pretty good. So let's just attack. And then I think I'm just gonna... Hmm. Yeah, of course they'll end that three. Okay, so we'll swamp. So I can dread return, try and bring back a lot less giant. They'll just exile the graveyard, which lets them draw a card so they get further into what they need. But the dread return will still be in the graveyard. Maybe I do that next turn. Maybe I just, like, Prowler. See if I hit anything. See if I hit, like, an Acorn Harvest or something. And then I could just Wayfinder. And then I got, like, a decently go-wide board. Okay. I'm fine with this. And we'll Wayfinder as well. There's a Dread Return in there. So I can bring back an Ent. But I think I'm fine. They got a pile of one. I think I'm just better off attacking with a pile of one ones. Yep. Yep. Okay. Crack it now. Sure. Anything else? Oh ho 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 ho. So you're saying there's a chance. And I keep hitting lands too, which is pretty cool. So Let's attack. Like, they might have a cast down, but they'll use it on this 2-2. Two, two. So they trade with something. So they take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then I play a scrapwork mount, and then there's another lethal threat on board. So using the acorn harvest at the start was really a good idea. Yep. Oh, we've got a cast down as well. Ooh, okay. Fair. I could try and Dread Return this this turn. That seems a little too risky. So I'm better off just ditching a land. 
and pass and turn. And I can cycle this Ent and Dread return at next turn. Yeah, I think I'm still going to cycle this. Get the red one. Uh, do I attack with the team or just the two twos? So say block here. I'll attack with the team. Okay, I would have blocked the scrap work mutt. So let's bring back the ant. Yeah, that's useless. So we will just swing first. The block here. Yeah, they're just dead. Block there and then gain two and take four. So unless they had a removal spell, they were gone. So we went through two Nihil spell bombs. They just had no threats. Two land destruction spells and a pile of ramp. So they had like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana sources. I mean, we saw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Possibly another uh, another two. It was turn eight, so and we didn't miss a land drop. So four zero. This is good. We even beat some graveyard head. I wasn't expecting to get this good with this deck, but it's impressing me every time. So uh, let's let's see if we can get this five zero. Hello and welcome to playing to playing for the five zero. This is episode two. With Black Green Dredge. Uh, <laughs> round five, we're versing Ichitaro. Uh, hoping to get there. Uh, hand has two mana and a dork that should find a land, so we will keep. These are not great, they're better in the graveyard. This is also better in the graveyard. Playing against uh, Terra or Fairies. Or Control, I guess. Fairies seems not great. They run... I'm pretty sure they run Graveyard Hate. They'll run Night Hill Spell Bombs. Which will not bode well for me. They shouldn't do anything unless they're fairies. Yeah, okay. Might be Control. Obscura Storefront's strange. That's probably Control. Alright, hit a land please. All right, we'll take tap land. I will attack for one. Play another prowler. See if it resolves. Shame it would. Okay. Unexpected development. Always happy to get a counter spell out of their hand. Always happy for them to miss their fourth land drop. So, I don't really have much else to do here. I'm thinking about just casting the Acorn Harvest. If they want to Spell Pierce it, that's fine. Do I play a Scrap Work Mutt? Scrap Work Mutt and Acorn Harvest? 
It's probably pretty average. Can't get a red with this. I think I want a scrap work mount. Oh, now nah, I'll just 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 play the acorn harvest. I'll get spill pierced. Could get. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. I'm happy. I'm happy for that to get counterspelled. Is it terror time? Ogreballs. Eh? Still don't know what this is. Stinkweed him. Okay, so how about we scrap work mode? Gonna discard this lot. Oh, no, not all the bones pretty useless in hand. I'm gonna draw another one anyway. Okay, and then we'll play the Stinkweed Imp. So no matter what happens to it, I'll be happy wherever it goes. The Acorn Harvest is pretty useless now that they've got an Augur of Bolas. I can't really keep chipping in for ones. That's fine. They might play a Monarchy now. Hmm. Maybe they are Fae. I'll double block this. If I want to use a removal spell on one of my creatures, go ahead. Sure. I'd rather it die than you get a ninja. All right, let's dredge this, and then we will. Oh, well, there goes there goes my plan. All right, so replace Dinkweed Imp. So replay Acorn Harvest. Do I cycle Troll of Kazadoom? Because it's it can't get what I wanted to anymore. Alright, we'll play this. Well I've got mana up. They are Fae, okay. Attack with both? Nothing, okay. Um. Do I just play Acorn Harvest? Guess so. And then I'll... May as well cycle this as well. Get another Haunted Mire. Just pass. Yeah, not going to do anything, which is good for me. Alright, may as well play this. Pretty used two counter spells. I just dealt eight to them. Now I can start attacking them with it. And they scoop. But one went off. One went off a televised 5-0. I haven't actually televised one before. I don't play enough for it to actually happen much, but I think I'm pretty sure they've got graveyard hate. Which isn't going to go well for me. Uh, no artifacts, no damage prevention. They don't do much damage, and they don't have anything I would wish to target in their graveyard. So we're just going to run it back. My sideboard has been 
very average. I have literally sighted in some flaring pains against White Weenie, and I've done nothing else. Uh, I have a generous ent. So I can keep this. The double knot of the bone's a bit awkward. That's also very awkward. Alright, so let's just... Get a tap land out of there. Augur Bolus. Oh, okay. Just get your tap land and play it. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, very. Okay. <laughs> Stinkwind is a surprisingly, like, alright creature. Okay, no untapped land, please. I want to resolve this Branchwood Perler and actually hit a land. Excellent, okay. So you're saying there's a chance. Take one. Don't matter. That's also pretty good, but we'll see if we get a tap land. I could play Stinkweed Imp. That might actually be a terrible idea. No, I need, hit, I need to hit more lands. Cool, and I get a tap land too. Wait. Counter spell is fine. Take two. Alright, let's my Triton. I'm fine with this if this gets countered. And I will do another one. Surely they'll be tempted to. Well, they don't have a spell starter, otherwise they would have slammed it already. So it's just if they want to use the counter spell on this. Okay, they have the spell starter. Interesting. Get hit with all the fey. It's a dread return. So they have a counter spell, right? So I think I want to play this. Because they were pretty hesitant on the counter spell on the first spell I played last time. Cool. So now I try to hit a untapped land. Hit nothing. Excellent. I uh, can acorn harvest. Yeah, it's acorn harvest. It also resolves. I'll tag with this my triton. I was hoping to hit an untapped land there too. Okay, sure. Uh, They've got Spell Pierce. So Lilith Giant does a lot. I think I just want to draw a land. I can gain 22 life. I want to draw a land. Hmm. Oh, I think I just play this. Buy myself some more time.
Ninja time? Yeah. That's not good. So they've still got a counter spell. Oh, and they got a relic. Okay. Well, that's even worse. Uh, get rid of... I guess my trident. I'll keep the Nord of the Bone in there. Oh, come on. I was so close. So now I can't... I guess I just... I can't Stinkweed Imp either. So just spells start at me. I'll just pass. I'll try and flash back to the north of the bone. So then they just exile my graveyard. Okay, unexpected. Sure, we'll just get rid of another relevant creature. Do not want to dredge. I said I didn't want to dredge. <laughs> All right, well, Stinkweed Imp. It'll get countered by the spell starter. Or it'll just get killed by a kill creature spell. A removal spell. Pop the relic. Yeah, cool. All right, so now I st still got to deal with a spell stutter and a uh, counter spell. And nothing left in my graveyard. Sure. Hey. All right. Well, it's just stinkweed. He can get counted. And now that I'm up to five, I'll probably start dredging again. Sure, so that means another removal spell in my future. Like, I could side in some ancient grudges, try to deal with the relics, but I just don't think it's worth it. It's not dilu It's not worth diluting my game plan. Because as soon as the relic comes out, I'm having issues anyway, right? Even if I remove it, it doesn't matter. They'll just exile my entire graveyard and I have to go back to square one. So, replay Stinky. Crap work, Matt. That gets spell started? Sure. Get another removal spell? Yep, my well, echoing decay is great against the squirrels.
Pachuca Bog's not good. And a Gurmag. Okay. Um, they've still got a counter spell, and they've got a, yeah. I'm I'm pretty much going from there. Like I can cycle this, try and reanimate it, and I'm just I got nothing. So, like maybe Nord of the Bone. I just swap a couple of them for some ancient grudges, because my graveyard's never going to be too great anymore. Probably a bad move, but we'll see how it goes. Yes, we'd we'll like to go first. Uh, this is okay. I'll keep. And I've got to hope I hit. Because I want to try to hit these on turn two, right? So to do that... I've got to get an untapped forest with this. I can't get a swamp. I just hope I can hit... Oh, that works too. Uh, I'll actually play that. I'll play the Prowler. Could be an argument for the My Triton just because it does more damage. And it can attack through a... Whatever you call it. Augur of Bolas. Ancient Grudge. And the Stinkweed Imp. Stinkweed is pretty good when we got... I need, I need a red source, though. Oh, I've got a green, duh. It's flashback for green. So I'm thinking dredging the Stinkweed Imp. Into playing it. Well, so much for that idea. Alright, so let's just Prowler again. Didn't hit anything. Excellent. Augur is fine. Lorien's fine. Surely they don't run spell pierce. So let's just dread return back this giant, because it can't get snuffed out. So they take two. And just pass. It's not fantastic, but I gotta do what I can when the graveyard isn't in threat of getting exiled. And I can just like acorn harvest into dread return. Get back the generous end. Next turn if I need to. So let's just attack. Uh, 
assume they have a removal spell for the giant. Um, do I acorn harvest? Or do I just double my triton? I'll double my triton. Oh, I can do that too. Let's do that. Spell stud is fine. Means they're probably gonna ninja me. Are they gonna arms of Hadami is the question. And Skirmag, okay. You can deal with Gurmag. Sure. Do I attack with the team? Sure. And we'll see what happens. Yep. Okay, so now we cycle this. And I don't think they can beat this. Like, I could get a bog, but I think I've just got the win here. So I can just, like, dread return back this giant? Actually. We dread return, flashback, sacking these to have enough creatures in the graveyard to kill them. So now they got to have counter spell, which they do. But then I've got another dread return. Get him. As easy as that. Dear Lord. Did we finally 5-0 in a video? Jesus. Okay. Uh, very hyped on this one. Woo! Oh, jeez. Uh, three blue decks. Land destruction. What was the other one? Don't know. All right. Anyway, uh, <laughs> let's wrap this thing up. All right. Uh, we went five zero with the dredge deck. Fantastic. Uh, sometimes I felt like I just needed a couple more lands, and it's the only thing. I felt awkward about. So it's like you got usually you have one land and a cycler, and then you need to hit one of these, and then it's like if this gets countered, you're just wobbling around and not really doing anything. Like you need to hit get at least to four to be able to like cast these things. You don't need to cast these. These are fine as just getting land, and this you try and discard and reanimate anyway. So I wouldn't worry. I think that well, there was a game where I did cast this on seven. So there is times where you can do that, but that's just not what the deck's aiming to do. Uh, I don't really know like what to improve the sideboard. Well, let's. So what do we what do we play? So we played against White Weenie, which was pretty easy. Nord of the Bone helped solidify that. They don't really want much graveyard hate. The only thing we had to do was try and avoid prismatic strands, which the flaring pain did. So that was great. Uh, we played against uh, blue red and mono blue Terra in which, like, Maya Triton and Stinkweed Imp, like, just hold the fort against Terra, and there's not much they can really do against it. So you just sit there grinding away until you get to a point where, like, you can just flash back two Acorn Harvests and then flash back two Dread Returns and constrict their mana. So your game plan's fine there, as long as they don't have uh, Graveyard Hate. Uh, Blue Black Fairies... Uh, that one was a bit iffy. I think it's just because we won the die roll. We had a decent time there. 
they hit all the graveyard hate in game two, which showed that we do struggle when graveyard hate is like used multiple times throughout a game. Uh, like I feel like generous and like doing that sort of early uh, turn four reanimate the lot less giant because their main sort of removal is snuff out. Having just a big black creature in lot like the tr giant or the troll is good against them. Uh, Acorn Harvest, like, having, and these being four cost from your graveyard is also pretty good. It just makes them harder to counter with spell status sprite. Like, maybe we should be running fumes or something just to help the fairies match up a little bit. Un unsure. Uh, wanted some, oh, and the last one was green, black, land destruction, which, that's just a dice roll. If they hit the land destruction early... You lose. Uh, that one, game three, they just didn't hit any threats. And I managed to go wide. I've never seen this deck. Not that I've played it much, but I've <laughs> never seen it try and go wide with a pile of dorky 1-1s. One -ones, but whatever works, works. Uh, so, deck's good. Went 5-0. Uh, it's probably not great against Glitters. Ancient Grudges in the board are great. I feel like that's the best thing against that this deck's got going for it. So, and I can understand that because you're dredging so much, like things just getting binned all the time, I'm sure there's some better cards that have flashback costs that can be used in a deck like this. Sort of like Morgue Theft, but it's pretty bad. Or um, Firebolt, but it's also pretty bad. Stuff like that. Maybe there's some sort of interaction that has flashback. That's not ridiculously overpriced, like... Uh, strangling Soot. Uh, maybe Crippling Fatigue? So it's, it's, it's in the same uh, cycle as Acorn Harvest and Deep Analysis. Uh, it gives a creature neg 3, neg 3, I believe. Might be neg 2, neg 2. It costs 3 and has 2 pay 3 life. It's got an elephant on it. That's all I remember. Um, but other than that, I need to probably think about this more. I should have, like, researched this before I started the end of this video. Uh, because, like, like these are only good against, like, Fogtron. Like, any ephemerate loop decks, I feel, is... Or, and maybe, like, Cycle Storm and whatnot. I feel that's all that Rotten Reunion's really good for. Moments Peace, I don't know what Moments Peace does that Nor to the Bone doesn't, is my concern. So I don't know when you'd want to bring this in. Like, Hexproof, maybe? Things that... and Heroic? Things that do big lifelinkers, maybe? That's the only thing I could think of. But they're not that big of a th uh, part of the meta anymore that I think it's worth running them. Uh, so, like, maybe there's better slots for these. Maybe we can fit, like, well, I can't fit Pyroblast. We've got barely any red. we got to do, like, green-black stuff. But anyway, uh, that's all I really have to say. Deck's great. Uh, real fun to play. Like, this, this, this Scrapwork Mutt Stinkweed in mid-direction just pretty much just means, like, if you got this in hand, it's just, like, this makes mill three cards. Which is just obscene in this deck, where it can like you can mill these three and then you've just drawn the three cards, so to speak. So real cool. Um, nothing, nothing more to say. Deck's great. Five zero. Don't know if I should say I got the trophy, but yeah. Uh, hope you have a good new year. This is probably the last video we do this year. Um. Yeah, have a good new year. Hope you had a good Christmas. We'll see you all in 2023, 2024. We'll say goodbye to 2023 and hope we have a good 2024. All right, see you next time.